Hello friends, this video on electricity part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 3 before going ahead with part 4. Now when we talk about types of electric current, there are broadly two type categories of electric current that is alternating current and direct current. So what is alternating current and what is direct current you will study about all these things in your in class 12. So for, as of now we are more interested to know about the basics of current. So now we will look at who carries current. Okay, so till now we understood that current is nothing but flow of charges. What causes the flow of charges? The difference between poten the difference in potential between the two ends of a conductor causes the charges to flow. Okay, so now the question is who will carry this current? So now if we talk about solids, what happens in case of solids? In solids we have three electrons present in their outermost shell which carry currents. Now what happens in case of solids? In solids we have free electrons to carry currents. What are these free electrons? If you look at the in, in your chemistry classes you would have studied about the electronic configuration of various elements. Right? So you would see that in case of metals their electronic configuration is such that they have electrons in their valence shell which are known as valence electrons. So let us suppose if you have a metal like sodium which has only one valence electron. So that means the valence electron is very loosely attached to the atom. So when you think of any solid will consist of so many atoms. Here I have shown all these as different atoms. So in every atom there is one valence electron which is very loosely attached to that atom. So this valence electron keeps jumping from one atom to another atom, again to from the next atom to the next atom and so on. And movement of these three electrons constitute current. Because current is nothing but flow of charges and the electrons are also charges. So flow of electrons constitute current in solids. So that means in solids who carries current? Free electrons, that is the valence electrons, the most loosely bound electrons in solids carry currents. So this was the case for solids. Now what happens in case of liquids? In liquids, positive and negative ions carry currents. Now what are these ions? Ions are something in which the total number of electrons is not equal to the total number of protons. So whenever your number of electrons, because when you look at the structure of the atom, atom has a nucleus which has protons and neutrons and it has electrons which, is, which are revolving around it. So protons are positively charged and electrons are negatively charged. So when the number and neutrons are neutral, right? So when the number of protons will be equal to the number of electrons, that means the number of positively charged particles is equal to the number of negatively charged particles. In that case, the net charge on the atom would be zero. But if that atom does not have equal number of protons and electrons, in that case, if the number of protons is greater than the number of electrons, the atom as a whole will be positively charged. If the number of electrons is greater than the number of protons, the atom as a whole will be negatively charged. So this kind of atom is known as an ion. Right? Whenever any atom loses one electron or gains one electron to become negatively or positively charged, then it is known as an ion. So in case of liquids, positive and negative ions carry current. Let us take this example of NaCl. What is NaCl? Sodium chloride. That is your common salt. Right? What happens in a uh, NaCl solution? So this is the configuration of Na. In sodium, you have only one electron in its outermost shell. In case of chlorine, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 electrons in the outermost shell. Now chlorine will be happy if it gets one more electron. Because if you have 8 electrons in the outermost shell, that means the outermost shell is stable. Right? The outermost shell, if you have 8 electrons or if you have 0 electrons, then the shell is stable. So if chlorine gets one more electron, chlorine is stable. If sodium loses one electron, sodium is also stable. 
right so both sodium and chlorine in order to become stable what do they do sodium loses one electron and gives this electron to chlorine so now chlorine is also happy because chlorine became stable sodium is also happy because sodium became stable but since sodium lost one electron so sodium became positively charged it became na plus so this na plus is na plus ion so how na plus ion is formed sodium lost one electron so it became na plus what happened to chlorine chlorine gained one electron and it became chlorine minus because it gained one negative charge so it becomes negatively charged now this na plus ions and chlorine cl minus ions what do they do they carry current in liquids because sodium plus and chlorine minus now they they have now charged particles and what is current flow of charges so na plus and cl minus are positive and negative charges and flow of these charges constitute current so in case of liquids positive and negative ions carry current now let us consider gases what happens in case of gases in gases also positive ions as well as free electrons carry current in gases that means the combination of both solids and liquids here we have free electrons also at the same time there are some positive ions as well which carry current in gases but gas carries current only when it is ionized because it will not carry current as such only when it is ionized because when you ionize a gas ions are formed our ions are formed and these ions are then Um, helpful in carrying current how can you ionize a gas you can ionize a gas by external rays by increasing the temperature or by applying some electric field see i am telling all these things just for your information because when you are studying this chapter on electric current you should know all these things so in case of gas what happens let us suppose you take some molecule which has one electron in its outermost shell when it is ionized what happens this electron is lost so what happens when this electron is lost when this atom lost one electron so it became a positive ion and this electron which is lost then act as a free electron so this free electron and this positive ion they carry current in gases right so now you understand who carries current in any substance in case of a conductor that is in case of a metal free electrons carry current in liquids it is positive and negative ions who carry current in gases it is positive ions and free electrons who carry current so this is the comparison between solids liquids and gases here solids you have free electrons liquids you have positive and negative ions and in case of gases you have positive ions and free electrons thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again